The SW1 has come with two types of calibration rod. The first type is a PVC pipe with removable calibration weight. There have been two styles of weights. One has an up indicator and has to be oriented. The hexagonal weight installs similarly. This one is not sensitive to orientation. For this type, configuration number one is with the weight fully installed onto the end of the rod. Number two is with the weight removed. The second type is an extendable rod with permanent weight. It also has two configurations. Number one is fully retracted, and number two is fully extended. To change it, twist the end counterclockwise to unlock, then extend or retract, and twist the other direction to lock. When extended, ensure that all four internal sections are exposed. When unlocked, the sections are loose. For greatest accuracy, support the weight to keep the rod straight while locking it. In a prior step, when you scan the NFC tag to add your device to the app, the calibration values were set to match those on the calibration rod label. You can see these values at the top of the Calibrate tab. Before calibration is complete, you will not get matching measurements. Place the calibration rod into the SW1 in the number one configuration. Ensure that the end of the rod is tight against the back wall of the cradle. The weight should be installed or the rod should be fully retracted. On the measure tab, tap the plus button to add a new measurement group. Place your phone into the cradle, making sure that it's fully seated. To take a measurement, press lightly on the cradle to force the front of the cradle to the left. That's clockwise from above. There's a small arrow on the left spring stop to indicate the release side. Tap the measure button and release it. After the measurement result appears, stop the calibration rod. Change the calibration rod to the number two configuration by either removing the weight or fully extending the rod. Create a second measurement group by tapping the plus button. Always make sure the rod is tight against the back of the cradle. And in this group, take two measurements. Change back to the number one configuration by either reinstalling the weight or fully retracting the rod. Tap the plus button to create a third measurement group and take a single measurement in this group. To finish calibration, navigate to the Calibrate tab. Ensure that the measurement groups are all satisfied. If not, figure out what is wrong and repeat the measurements. If satisfied, tap the Calibrate button. The calibration result at the bottom of the screen will update. You should now be able to measure the calibration rod and match the values printed on the label. It was measuring 269, but now measures 291, which matches.